Hello everyone and welcome to a different type of book call. This is inspired by my video, The Most Beautiful Books I Own, which you should definitely see and focuses on the overall beauty of novels. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this aesthetic book haul of the novels that I've acquired recently. Here are some of the books from this haul that I have already read. And these are the books that I haven't read yet. Let's start with the books that I have already read. First, we have An Inspector Calls, which was kindly gifted to me by Shannon. This play is about an inspector who links an entire family to the death of one woman, showing that the smallest of actions can have major consequences. This copy of How to Be Parisian Wherever You Are was gifted to me by Liam, so thank you so, so much. This is a fun self-help book all about life lessons written by four Parisian women. I'm a sucker for a good self-help novel, especially when it highlights a different lifestyle from my own. Liam also gifted me The Forest of Wool and Steel by Natsu Miyashida, an atmospheric Japanese novel about a man who learns to be a piano tuner. This book highlights the love for music, and it is such a sweet story. I finally got myself a copy of Get a Life Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert from bookshop.org, and I'm currently reading it right now. It's a cute romance between two people living in the same building as one another, and I can't wait to get deeper into the story. My best friend Camille got me a copy of Twelfth Night for my birthday in August. And here is my favorite read of 2020, Hamnet by Maggie O'Farrell, which was gifted to me by the publisher, so thank you so much to them. Hamnet explores the loss of Shakespeare's son and how a few years later he wrote his most infamous play, Hamlet. It's rare for me to find a novel that evokes so much emotion from me, and I'm so glad I stumbled across this tale. Allison so kindly gifted me a copy of Vita Nostra, a dark academia set in a Russian boarding school that transforms the minds and souls of the students who attend it. Allison also gifted me So You Want to Talk About Race, a nonfiction discussing racism, microaggressions, intersectionality, and so much more. I really enjoyed the audiobook and I'm so glad I now have a physical copy to add to my library. I just recently finished Transcendent Kingdom by Ya Jassy. This is such a phenomenal literary fiction exploring family, grief, and religion. 
written in such a heartbreaking and gorgeous way. Now on to my unread books. The Poppy War was gifted to me by the lovely Allison. This novel is a Chinese-inspired historical fantasy. All my friends adore this series, so I'm intrigued to dive into it to see what it's all about. Liam gifted me a copy of Rebecca, a classic that I am eager to read because it seems like it would be right up my alley. I also received a movie tie-in edition of Rebecca from Netflix to celebrate the release of their adaptation. Flatiron Books gifted me a copy of Woman and Salt by Gabriela Garcia. A book spanning generations as it follows Cuban women who have to make difficult choices to get where they are today. My best friend Camille also got me 1Q84 by Haruki Murakami. My first Murakami book, which intimidates me because it is so large, but I know it's going to be amazing. She also got me a copy of Why I'm No Longer Talking to White People About Race. A nonfiction highlighting racism and what it's like to be a person of color in Britain. Kathy so kindly gifted me a copy of The Ballroom. This historical fiction set during 1911 follows a group of patients living in an asylum where their only interactions are held in a ballroom at the end of each week. It has high praise on Goodreads, so I'm excited to pick this one up. One of my most anticipated reads of 2020 is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, a novel about a woman who makes a deal with the devil to live forever, but she's doomed to be forgotten by everyone she meets. Everyone I trust has adored this novel, so I'm predicting that it might be a 5-star read for me.
I won Dominicana by Angie Cruz in a giveaway on Instagram, which was a total surprise for me. This coming of age story is about a young girl who immigrates to America. It explores marriage, immigration, womanhood, and so much more. I hope you all enjoyed this different type of book haul. I had a lot of fun creating it, and I think it offers a new look at the books I'm excited to read. Let me know if you've read and loved any of these books. And if you want to stick around, feel free to subscribe to see more work from me. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.